Oh my god, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life! Alright. Well, what I'm here to talk about is the fight with the Ultima Weapon. If you don't want to hear about this fight, do not watch this video. This is a major spoiler alert if you are into the story at all of Final Fantasy XIV of Realm Reborn. Now, I didn't know what I was getting into when I, went, when I hit level 50, which, by the way, I'm a paladin. And also, going into this, it says 120 minutes is all the time you get for this dungeon, and uh, you need a maximum of 8 players. So, long story short, I got into it. So, getting into this particular dungeon makes me feel it makes the player feel entirely epic like no matter what you do it's like oh my god this is the final fight we need to go yeah let's go ah! that's exactly what you feel like so going into it you're killing everything your party's working together we're in perfect sync and then you know you get to that boss you get um Oh man, it just happened and it was such a blur. It was a blur. So, uh, what happened is we got into the fight with one of the four, I'm going to call them the four guardians because that's what they kind of remind me of. Uh, we get into this fight because I've already killed the big dude with the hand cannons and the shield. That motherfucker was epic too. Uh, I killed the white armored bitch and now I got to the red armored bitch. These are like the evil Sith Lord Power Ranger guys. Uh, cause each one has their own color. But, we get to this red one, and my god, was the tanking needed here perfect and flawless. Basically, this dude's whole strategy is, he forces all the players to come to the center of the room, because he electrified everything else around him. And he has a hammer. Every time he swings this bad boy as hard as he can, you get pushed into that electric field. But not very far. It's easy to dodge. So, tank one and tank two are taking turns, you know, swinging at this guy. We're wailing on him. We're just, uh, 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 keeping him in the center. All right? And we got the Dragoons attacking left and right. Okay? So, what happens is, he starts summoning, he says a stupid pun. He's like, it seems like you might need a hand. Get it? Because hands come out and push you into the electric field. They target you by letting you know, though. They telegraph their attack. You know, they start off on the other end of the room, and you just see this long purple strand pointing at you. And he pushes you. So every time he would pick me, my, uh, my other tank would provoke him to keep him off of me and on her. And yes, the other tank was a sheet. Um, can't remember her name, though, but she would... Uh, provoke him and start tanking while I took out the hand or the dragoon threw the lance at it and then I went back to attacking. Then when it pointed at her, I provoked the the damn red dude and then I started tanking. And I shit you not, I had little to no health and I decided to use the one move that could save my ass long enough for the white mage to get clear. Oh, excuse me. I used the hollowed ground move. This skill allows me to be invulnerable for 15 seconds to any attack. And I shit you not, this is the most epic thing. I managed to stun him. An unstunnable enemy got stunned. I was like... I was like, BAM! Shield bash! And he's like... It's like, the fuck? Did I stun him? Shit, get this guy! And... We used a level 3 limit break on his ass. I saw meteors flying on this motherfucker like the hammer of God. So what happened is after we got past him, we went through a little bit more of the dungeon. We got to ride on the Reapers. Like eight people on Reapers just lighting everything up. It's like kaboom, kaboom. Like fucking Michael Bay up in this bitch. That's what this reminded me of. This fight was just Michael Bay everywhere. Everybody using magic and super skills and just lighting up the whole screen. If you have seizures, do not look directly at the light. But, uh, then we get to the ultimate, well, not the ultimate. We got to the Darth Vader of the story. Alright, and this dude's attack is priceless. 
he has this move where he slashes the air and creates an X in the air. It doesn't move, though. He waits and teleports to the other side of the room, starts attacking people, and waits for somebody to get within its line of fire to let it go. It's like a fucking Hadouken from hell, because once it hits you, it stops you. And you're just like, oh god, what's gonna happen? Boom, bitch! But nah, this guy, nah, we, we shrugged this guy off, like, get that out of here. So, um, then we get to the Ultima Weapon. My god, this fight. I never got to finish this fight because of maintenance popping up. So, I'm pretty sure everybody out there has had this problem. But as soon as we get to the Ultima Weapon, I did not know what I was getting myself into. There should have been a warning in front of this fight saying, Warning, this boss will make you jizz your pants and pee yourself. And what happens is... He's like a combination of all the primals you've faced up until now. And what he does is, he has a fuck you laser that he summons. Zoom. He telegraphs it, of course. Unlike the other bosses you face, it has its own, it has its own goddamn color. It's green and black. And sometimes it goes by really quick. And this shit does a shit ton of damage. It's like 1,700 on a normal character. For me, it's like 765. I have high defense. Word. And what happens is, whenever he goes into this particular attack, you get him like halfway, he says yield. And, you know, I'm not going to yield on this one. I'm, I'm a paladin. I'm a motherfucking paladin. And he does this. He's, you see like a weird circle, and you're like, what the fuck is that? What the fuck? You see Garuda come down and bring up a tornado. The fuck? And then you see fire on the ground. I'm like, what the hell is that? It's the fire plume that Ifrit does. And then I saw, for like two seconds, I saw Geo Crush, which was, haha, Geo Crush. Ah, my name is Geo. Um, he does Geo Crush, and I see Titan. I'm like, oh my god, this dude has combination attacks. This dude is like. A god! And you know what? When we realized we had no time to do this, we fought him one last time for fun. We just... Out the blue. We just wanted to fight him one last time because we knew we were going to get kicked out because of maintenance. So, here, this is the main part of the story that... The, not the story of the game, but the story of what happened to me. Is... You know, we were... I, I, I type up on the chat box. I was like, you know what? Fuck maintenance. I'm not going down like a bitch. I'm going in for the horde! And I just roll in there, just like, yeah! And everybody ran behind me, screaming random shit in the chat box. Because they knew I, I had nothing to lose, they had nothing to lose. You know? And one dude was waiting in queue for like four days. And they all yell random shit. And here's the funny thing. Uh, our black mage was like, chitty chitty, bang bang! And another one says, for Aorzea! And then, uh... My other tank is like, go, my warriors of light. And uh, one dude, I guess, watches the spoony one because he yells, what's a paladin? <laughs> Your knowledge of the land will be great. Anyway, but that's just what I want to say. It's, it's a funny story somewhat, but it was an epic fight. I mean, even though we all got wiped, I didn't feel bad. I felt great. More games need to throw epic boss battles like this more often. Where they take everything you did in the past and roll it into one boss. You know? But, all in all, I, uh, I want to do that fight again. Like, that's the one dungeon I wouldn't mind doing over and over and over again. Because of how epic it is. Even the cutscenes I didn't watch were epic. The only reason I didn't watch it because nobody has the patience for that. So, I just wait till I go to the end to watch them. But, oh my god. Ultima Weapon, Final Verdict. Oh, that's not even the worst part. Somebody said there's two more fights after him. I'm like, the fuck? But anyway, Final Verdict, Ultima Weapon is a bad-ass boss who deserves to be on the top ten baddest bad guys of all time.
because this motherfucker is no joke. I'm Geo Coons, a Realm Reborn, and I'm out.